Hello, people of the internet. Board Zach here, and welcome back to yet another YouTube video. And in today's video, I'm doing an update on my Lego Ninjago City. So, as you can see, since the last update video on the city, quite a lot has changed visually. Um, there's not a whole lot new building wise, but there is a new section there, and I rearranged things. Just a disclaimer. So, uh, the bounty is not going to be staying here permanently. The whole reason I rearranged this was because word broke that the um, there was going to be another Ninjago City set, which is going to be the Lego Ninjago Gardens of Ninjago City. And I immediately was like, okay, I'm going to have to work this into the city somehow. I still don't know how well it's going to work in, but based on the teaser images, it seems like it's going to be on a 32 by 32. There's also going to be a side build, which I'll probably put in here. And I wanted to make space for the build, so the bounty's just there for now. I'm going to have to find a new home for it. I was going to put it there, but it blocks the buildings a little too much for me. We'll see, though. But, um, yeah, so I rearranged the city here. So this is the custom expansion here that used to be attached to this end, and this used to be over here. Um, I was originally just going to put the gardens in the single slot I had and leave everything else the same, but I didn't really like the idea of all that shadow obscuring it. And I also always had issue with the fact that I could not really see this side of this Ninjago City very well because there was only really this much space that was really hard to get in there and look at it. And now there is quite a lot of space in here to look. Um, so yeah, uh, so this was rearranged. I do realize now with the lighting, you can see inside the arcade a lot better. So you can actually see there are st there is stuff in there. And, um, yeah, I was going to mention, in the last update video, I said that I had already shown you a lot of the parts that I had on the Ninjago City, and I realized in the other video I hadn't shown most of it, so I will show that now. I added this clock here, which goes into the technical. There's one over here, too. You can see it. I can't really point to it because I don't want to drop my phone. And I added this hat sticker here because it matches the hats pretty well. I made another change to the city set which was I changed this banner out here, which was originally the large green banner. I only changed it out because on the custom add-on, I added a pink tree to match with this because apparently there is a um, pink tree on the gardens as well. So I wanted to kind of tie everything together. Obviously this side of the build has the whole cherry tree. or the, I think these are the cherry blossom trees. I don't really know what to call these. I call them cherry trees. Um, yeah, so those are the changes I've done to the official set. But while we're over here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the new stuff. So it's pretty hard to see in here just based on the lighting of things. Um, I don't really have anything that can give proper lighting in there. So for now, you're just gonna have to trust my word. So in this corner here, you really can't see it at all. It's literally just red and black stripes on the wall. And it's the sticker that's the car sticker that was one of the ones that went in here. It's like, I'm tired of walking. Get a car. It's that one. Um, and uh, just the black striped walls and some gray stone that matches this wall. And then um, this building here was really just a bunch of random parts thrown together. I used that sticker, which used to be up here before I swapped it out. And uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, sorry. I put that down there, and this is a tan. The yellow was just leftover parts from another building. And a lot of these parts are taken from the Ninjago Monkey Kid HQ, which I've taken apart because I wanted the parts for the city, which also leads us to up here. So I will show the little tan building first. There is literally nothing in there. It's just a facade, and on top of it is the pink tree. This building was originally a lot more, like it had a lot more going on on the sides of it, but I had to shrink it down so it would fit into this little slot. But it's a technology store. We have an old Junker TV that they're just kind of throwing away. We have the Galador poster, which is also one of the posters that goes in here. Um, this is from the um, Monkey Kid HQ, and then these yellow stickers are from, you can't see the one that's above the AC, but there is one up there. Those are from Jay's Arcade Pod, the same extra one I bought for the Prime Empire sticker on the arcade. Um, I used those and cut them out because they matched with the Monkey Kid thing. So this is more of a junkie store, and there's an AC unit on it. And I wasn't really a fan of how um, 
of how the, uh, let me think about it. I, I need to think of my words. Oh yeah, I wasn't really a fan of how much shorter the blue um, building was. So the antenna was already there on the original build with the little squid thing on it. But I also added the Monkey Kid brick heads, which I got a couple weeks ago. Well, I got on the, on the 1st of August. And he really goes up there great. Um, originally, what was up there was, if I can get the set out, in here we have Pigsy's truck, which the top's just taken off, so don't worry. Um, this, I had originally removed one of these and used it as a billboard, but it really didn't look good up there, and I kind of wanted to give the billboard back, or the, the logo back to the truck. So, yeah. I think that definitely looks good up there. And like I said, I was glad to give the sticker back to the truck because it made a lot more sense on there. And the brick head kind of helps even out the buildings, even though that one obviously is a lot shorter, which I think makes things a lot more balanced and a lot more evened out. It also kind of helps since this street's a lot more based on the monkey kid and then this street's going to be the Ninjago City stuff. Um, I was planning on getting the docks again. I'm not going to now. There's no space. I was gonna fit it in this little divot back here, but there's just not room anymore due to how I've rearranged things. So that's just how that's gonna be, um, which is fine with me. I don't really mind that much because I never really liked the docks as much as the other stuff. And I'm hoping the gardens live up to the hype. So yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Um, oh, one more thing, this billboard, I mean, this little sign segment here, I had to steal from here. So this guy's gone back to just having an ugly railing because I don't have any more of these and I didn't want to order any. But yeah, that's it. Oh, and I keep forgetting changes. This here, um, is that a test properly? I can't find out. Yeah. This banner here was the one that used to be there. I want to keep all of the pieces I had to take out of Ninjago City like this and the lamps on here. So in case I ever have to move this, I want to have all the original parts back on it. So it's all complete. So I have the complete set. So yeah. Um, so I keep all the original official pieces in the build. But yeah, um, that's it for this video. I'm not really sure where that tangent was going, but it's really not important. So that's it for this video. I hope you all like the updated city. I'm really not gonna do much else to the city until we see the garden set and I really know what I'm working with. Sorry for my noisy chair. Cause there's still a chance I'm gonna have to change some things, but I guess we'll see how that works when the set comes out. So yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.